Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Spotlight. Uh, something a little different today. Uh, not one, not two, but three uh, vintage 132nd scale kits, uh, all with the Dukes of Hazard theme. Uh, now these guys here are, uh, it's just a little bit different this week on the Spotlight uh, because I don't, if I remember back right, I don't believe that I built each of these. Uh, matter of fact, I know I didn't build this one. Uh, and the reason being is uh, this was my brother's car here. Uh, so I believe my dad built all these, did the decals and everything for us uh, at one point in time. Uh, but uh, I've had these guys tucked away uh, for a long time. And uh, of course, obviously they're missing some pieces and stuff here and there. And the decals aren't uh, really good shape anymore. But uh, they're still part of uh, model car and, uh, and history, somewhat TV history. Uh, all, all, like I said, with the Dukes of Hazard theme, uh, but all of which were never a part of the show, obviously. Uh, they just took uh, a lot of times and did uh, movie or TV themes on just a, a random car, I guess, uh, even though, however, uh, all cars, what, uh, if Hazard County would have been a real place that maybe you would have seen putting around, except for maybe this one. Uh, I, I don't see Boss Hogg... Uh, spending so much money to uh dude up a van like that uh he would just keep it in his tight little fist anyway uh besides all that i uh, want to just take a look at these three real quick guys and just uh uh go i was gonna take each one at a time and uh we'll, we'll try to find out uh what the origin of the kit was so we'll bring these guys on around here i got a double spinner i had to put that extender on there uh, to get them all to fit. Move a little car nut out of the way over there. Slide these back and we'll look at these one at a time. Uh, not totally out of the screen. Uh, but first of all, uh, let's look at... And i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this guy off here because I want to bring something else in here. And this big one might be in the way. So let me set this out of the road somewhere. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, first of all, let's just look at this. Uh, Boss Hogs Hauler. Uh, now, this is... Uh, these are all these are all three MPC kits. And we'll set these guys back up here now. You can see them better up there while I'm talking and yakking away here. But anyway, Boss Hogs Hauler. Uh, these were all three MPC kits. Uh, all about the same release date. Uh, as we're going to see here in just a minute. Uh, but this was a Dodge. I believe it would have been the Dodge Tradesman van. And actually, I've got an example. Uh, this kit, actually, the original re release of this uh, type of van was 1976. And I've actually got an example of an original box. Uh, this is what uh, this kit originally, the very first release, uh box would have looked like uh, was a snap together uh, dodge van no glue or paint needed again there you go mpc 30 second scale uh and then just goes in i don't have a box i don't have examples of any of these kits themselves but i thought it was cool i did i did acquire and uh, now this is just the lid that's all i've got i don't have the box bottom but uh i did acquire this and we have an example of the actual van itself so the original release, this is it. This was in its form, guys, and that just had some uh, stripes for the side there. Again, this is missing quite a few pieces. Uh, this axle was actually broke off, uh, so it's just reduced to parts. Just something to talk about. However, if I wanted to, uh, I may be able to swap one of these to work on one of these other cars, and we'll see that in a minute. Uh, so anyway, that's that's the uh, that's the original original version of this kit. And I said, I think that was based on the tradesman van. So we'll set him out of the way. And I'll just go ahead and look at this box real fast. Because uh, this box art would have been similar on these as it is on this box, probably. Uh, so you just look there on the side. Pretty neat. Look at that. Uh, MPC product of Fund Dimensions. Division of General Mills Fund Group. Check it out. General Mills. That's cereal group and food stuff. Uh, Mount Clemens, Michigan. So... Back in the day, guys, 1976. Same box art there on the side. And then and then look at this. Check this out. 
here are all three of these models right here uh basically presented in their original original context now this van here this kit here was pretty cool because uh my brother also had one of these vans but it was a it was a luke skywalker van and um uh, i've acquired uh some of his stuff uh when he passed away um uh, i have acquired some of his stuff and i don't know if he still had this van or not uh i don't think i have it i might have it somewhere but anyway it was luke skywalker and the decals on it actually would glow in the dark so that was pretty cool so he had one of these and then uh here again here's all three of these in their original configuration there so and i think i had one of these two with these flames but we'll talk more about that when i get to that to that truck so anyway uh look at there was a special offer get a three by four inch embroidered patch for a buck look at that back in the day guys cool stuff so anyway that's the original that would have been the original uh version box of this kit and uh that was released this kit here was released a couple other times and uh the next release i think it was a this it's called a spider van which had spider-man decals on it and then of course 1980 the boss hogs hauler which is what you see here and uh, then in 1982 this was released with the airfix label and so i thought that was pretty cool too in the same obviously same scale everything identical just uh just different uh uh box name on it airfix instead of npc so check this out you got here boss hogs hauler on the front again none of these were ever on the show never present on the show it's just something to uh just just for fun to build and i actually seen on ebay the other day a sheet of these original decals they didn't look too bad but if i don't miss my guess they probably would not um last through the water but it'd be kind of cool to get it if i wanted to do this and i and, and once again, I probably never would, but you could actually get those uh, decals reprinted and uh, redo this van and restore it if you wanted to, but I'll probably never touch it. And then on the back here, going to get them Duke boys. Roscoe, will you please? Anyways, uh, take a hike, Boss Hog. Anyway, all right, guys, that's, uh, that's the Boss Hog's hauler. I know corny, right? But hey, I'm having a lot of fun. So... That's the that's number one there, Boss Hogs Hauler. And I remember actually this model. I actually remember uh, I'd got this, and I was at school one day. I was still in elementary school, and Dad worked second shift, and I come home, and this model was sitting on the table with all the decals on it. And he had done that while I was at school, and uh, come home, and it was all done. So I uh, put that on my shelf and was real proud of that thing. So, but anyway. So I said the decals have not lasted, but uh, it's kind of cool. There's cracked and stuff, but you can obviously tell, still tell what they were. So pretty cool stuff. Now we'll move on to this next one, uh, 34, and he's got some issues with his front axle. Uh, this was the, the 30, uh, 34 Ford uh, delivery van and uh, called the Duke's Digger. Interesting, interesting name they come up with on that, but... Although flag's not lasted the stand, stood the test of time very well, but uh, pretty cool. Again, all snapped together, 30 second scale, pretty neat stuff. And again, see the this actually need to pay some attention to this. I could actually glue that back together so that wheel set straight again. But uh, now this this uh, my dad did for my brother, and I I actually acquired this uh, from my brother because he. He liked cars, but he was uh, he was a writer, and he did a lot of writing. He wrote some plays, and he was in the theater and stuff, and and uh, so he really didn't catch on to the models. He had started a model one time, and he he assembled the basic part of the engine, uh, the two block halves, the heads, and the intake, and uh, and he actually he just lost interest in it. So he actually ended up giving me the kit, not this one, obviously. I think it was a. It's an, it was El Camino, like an 80, early 80s El Camino, late 70s, 79 maybe. But anyway, so uh, he ended up giving me all his models that he had, uh, and been, being I was into him so much. But got here, Hazard County Hot Rod Association. Now, this could have actually been a reality uh, in real Hazard County because uh, all the hot rodders around would possibly could have very well had something like that. So 
I uh, thought that was pretty neat too. So, and again, something of my brother's that he had. Uh, so I'll never do anything to it except, like I said, maybe fix this axle. Uh, never do anything. Won't touch it. It's going to stay like it is. And uh, just a cool, uh, cool piece of history there. So that's the second one. And now coming to the third one, which is probably one of the most popular ones that was re-released in many different forms. Oh, I forgot one thing. On this on this Duke's Digger here, the 34 Ford, uh, that was actually the original release of this kit, not as the Duke's Digger, uh, was also released in 76. And looking at my notes, guys, I don't want to miss any of that stuff. Uh, and then this was released 1980. And then there was another one in 1981. It was, it was called a Cop Rod. And it had some new parts. Uh, I think it might have had some sirens or something for it but it was just like a like a hopped up cop car type thing and then in 1982 this kit was also released with the airfix label on it so this was released with the mpc box uh labeling and the airfix uh in 1882 respectively so that's the deal on that one and then now we get to the cooters cruiser this is the old square body uh, released, I believe, also in 76. So all three of these style cars were re released the same year. And this had a couple... Uh, guys, this had a lot of different uh, style of releases with different decals and things, different molded in different colors. Now, my brother actually had an orange one that had the Incredible Hulk on it. So it was like the Hulk hauler. And I don't know whatever happened to that one. Uh, it, it come up missing a long, long time ago. I do not have that one anymore. Uh, I'm sure he gave that to me at one point in time. I'm going to just spin this thing around as I'm yakking here. And then, uh, so this, this one was released then in 1980 in the Cooter, Cooter's Cruiser version. And, uh, the Hulk, then that Hulk truck was in the late seventies at some point in time. And then there was one they had called Trail Patrol. And that's just a few of them. Scale mates listed, they listed a lot of other configurations of this body. And the original one on this kit was like, uh, what we've seen on the box here would have been with the would have been with the flames on it right there, and I think I actually had that one with the flames too at one point in time, but uh, but I don't remember a hundred percent. If I did, it was gone a long long time ago. Uh, so, but I have still have this one. Uh, it's got a side pipe loose and it's missing one, so it is possible since this is missing so many more parts that I actually have a spare side pipe if i wanted to put that on this truck make that complete again and uh, these decals again albeit rough as they are uh, you can still tell what they said and what they were and everything it's got a nice chevy bow tie there in the tunnel cover a cooter's cruiser back there again i think this one dad had got put together and did the decals for me and yeah, this was really early on uh, before i was really building a whole lot myself but uh but anyway yeah, uh, three uh, three classic Dukes of Hazard themed uh, models, and um, I don't believe they ever made the General Lee in the small scale like this. I do know they did have a, I think they did have a sixty nine Charger in the thirty second scale, but I don't believe it ever had the Dukes uh, Dukes of Hazard uh, General Lee badging on it. I don't believe so. But anyway, uh, so yeah, man, the Dukes of Hazard, what a classic show. Uh, we watch that every Friday night and, uh, might as well tell another little story. You guys know, I like to tell stories. So, uh, like, uh, Harold Reed of the Statler brothers said one time on stage, he said, I had a story. I've got a story. I'll always have a story. So the little story about that is, uh, Friday nights, uh, I remember the lineup on Friday night on CBS. Uh, it started out when, uh, when the Hulk was still on, on Friday nights with, uh, Bill Bixby came on at eight and then the Dukes of Hazard was on at nine and then Dallas was on at, uh, at 10 o'clock. And we'd pretty much watch all of those. Uh, although be it, we would pay less attention to Dallas. Uh, we was usually play acting out the show, the Dukes of Hazard show that we just saw on TV. So, uh, but, and then later on, uh, the Dukes moved to that eight o'clock slot and the Hulk moved to, moved to, uh, Wednesday night. And then it was the Dukes, uh, Dallas and then Falcon Crest, I believe, for a while. And we would watch those was our Friday night lineup. Dad worked second shift. And uh 
he'd get home about 11.30, and around 11 o'clock, Mom would start a pizza, a uh, ship already pizza, and she'd have that ready by the time Dad got home, and uh, and then we'd stay up and watch uh, Chiller Theater for the Night Owl. Anyways, but uh, yeah, fun memories, guys. I always remember that. Friday nights were special to us, and the Dukes of Hazard. what a great show. Uh, what a great show. Uh, we learned... Uh, Biggest thing we came away from with that show was um, love conquers all hate. And that's what that show taught us. And uh, like Uncle Jesse said, a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. So uh, a lot, lot of good lessons in the show and, uh, and just a lot of fun. That's where I fell in love with uh, Mopars, actually, uh, because the General E. And that's virtually what uh, sent the... Uh, value of the 69 chargers uh, through the roof so you know that was that story and uh probably have a whole other video on that alone but anyways uh but guys this uh just something different that i wanted to do for this spotlight uh i know these are nothing fancy or flashy but uh, they were fun uh yeah they weren't real cars on the show but who didn't like the dukes of hazard theme back then man we uh and i say theme not just the not just the theme song of the show, but the theme as far as decoration goes as uh, from the Dukes of Hazard, And just a little, uh, little special tidbit on this video right here. Uh, I thought this was cool. Uh, again, my brother passed in uh, 2021 and um, we went through his stuff and there's certain things that we got and kind of divided up and stuff and, and all that. But uh, this is one thing that my brother got uh, in the mail. He had wrote a letter to uh, CBS Hollywood in 1982 uh, to Ben Jones. And uh, he got this in the mail back in the day. And uh, he just got this letter uh, from Ben Jones. Uh, Thanks a lot for your nice letter. Really enjoyed reading it. Sorry it's taking so long to write back, but the mail service in Hazard isn't always the best. We have a real good time making the Dukes, and it's always good to hear from someone who likes it. I'm sending you an autographed picture of me and a couple other things along. Hope you like them. Take it easy. Keep in touch. Sincerely, Ben Jones. And he got the letter along with the autographed picture of Ben Jones as Cooter Davenport. So uh, best wishes, Ben Jones, to Chris from your friend Cooter. So really cool. I'm so glad to have this. I'm glad I've got it. I And I didn't know he, I remember when he got this, but I didn't remember him still having it. So that was pretty cool. And then another bonus, he had acquired this at another point in time. Uh, autograph picture, Tom Wolpat, uh, Luke Duke there. So thought that was pretty cool that he still had this stuff. Now I had a picture of Uncle Jesse and Luke at one time, uh, but I, I don't know whatever happened to him. They come up missing a long time ago. Um, uh, I wasn't always the greatest keeper of things back in the day. Uh, but my brother, he, he kept, he kept stuff nice and, and everything. And so it's kind of cool to have this. He loved this stuff and I've got it. And, uh, and I love it just as much. And, uh, one other thing before I go, we also, uh, went to Hare Arena in Dayton, Ohio. And, uh, Sorrel Book was there who played Boss Hog. And, uh, we seen him up on the stage, uh, but the line was so long, and Dad wasn't really that interested in standing in line. So we did at least get a uh, a, a printed copy of a signed picture uh, from Sorrel Book. But we did see him up on the stage uh, signing uh, autographs and stuff. And then we got to go out and look at the uh, the show generally. And we thought it so strange. Well, that can't be right. The doors open. Generally, his doors don't open. But anyway... That's all I got for that one, guys. But anyway, I hope you hope you enjoyed this little this little look at some some small scale stuff. I know I don't I haven't had a lot of small scale stuff, and uh, and I told you at one time I I think at one time I might have been a small scale snob at some point, but uh, my mind's changing real fast on that, guys. A model's a model, right? And that's what we do. So, hey guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, and uh, one second, about lost everything right there. It's telling me it's time to go. So, all right, guys. Hey, uh, if you like the video, give me a like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Uh, you want a shop card? Um, I've got one here in case any of you have not seen my shop cards. Let me uh, let me dig one up here. One second. I got it. Digging it out. So this is my shop card. 
If anybody's interested in one, there's my email. And the email is also in my channel description and the description of the video here. So if you want one, just shoot me an email, leave it in the comments, give me your mailing address, get one right out to you. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. I'm done. Uh, you guys have a great day. God bless you and happy modeling.